Y'all see me. I'm back. What is good, YouTube man? It's Kodre, and I am back with another reaction video. This ain't even a reaction video. Oh, shit. This is a... Uh, I'm back from the Navy, man. I told y'all I was going to the Navy and shit, and I'm finally back, y'all, man. I know this is a whole new setup, man. I'm at a whole new house, man. But right now, y'all, this video, this is a me being back, man. Me to talk about my basic training experience, man. When I tell y'all, boot camp was such a huge experience. And I'm gonna go ahead and dive into it with y'all, man. I miss y'all, man. Did y'all miss your boy? You miss your boy? Y'all miss your boy's reactions? Y'all miss your boy's contents? Man, I'm telling y'all, man. It's been so long since I even, like, picked up the camera and then just started talking and, like, getting back into my youtube stuff man i miss it man i really miss it man but let's go ahead and get into the video man let's go all right y'all so we're gonna go ahead and hop into my whole boot camp experience bro y'all see your boy got the navy on let me show you let me show you my let me show you my division flag you see that shit two one nine type shit you see that two one nine let's go Good boy but yeah man we're gonna go ahead and dive into me talking about um <clears throat> my navy experience and my boot camp my like whole boot camp experience and shit like that bro for the people who are trying to figure out like if the military is for them and stuff like that and they nervous for going into boot camp they don't know how what to expect in that type of thing but um we're gonna go ahead and get into it so first off first off first off is y'all already know your boy already don't he, boy already don't got no hair like i'm completely bald so <laughs> <laughs> so your boy is completely bald so for the people who got hair and they be like oh i don't want to join because they gonna cut my hair stop all that stop all that it ain't even worth like the military is such a big huge experience you shouldn't care about like your hair that you can always grow back not that long that you like for motherfuckers that got dreads and shit yeah you're not gonna be able to grow that shit back because you have to carry yourself to a certain standard in the military and stuff like that you're a part of an organization but you will get your hair cut off. Your hair is going to get cut off. But you will get haircuts. You can't choose your haircuts in the military, but I mean the boot camp. But you'll get haircuts like every two weeks. And you will have to pay for it. <laughs> but yeah, man. Like the night I got off the bus, we walked in the building. And it was a chief there in the middle of the hallway. And we all had to stand in like two rows, like two rows, like one side of the hallway and the other side, like left side, right side, port side, starboard side. And the chief was just walking in the middle. He told us we had to like, like take away our phones. Nah, uh, nah, he told us it was the last call for our family. Like we had to go ahead and try to call our family and stuff like that. I talked calling my family, they ain't even answer, bro. What kind of shit is that? But <laughs> but yeah, so we was, I was calling them, they ain't answer. So then we had to put our phones up, type shit. Go in the back room, you know, in the back room, there's a, a petty officer and he instructed us. Like he finally, this is the moment where you getting all your shit, like your C bag, your book bag. You're not getting your end ups yet. You don't get your end ups until you're done with P days. And P days is, you got the first week you there and then the rest of the, everything else is the real, real deal. P days is like the introduction to boot camp. It's a whole week. like. You know how it's eight weeks? P days is just an additional week in the beginning. Then your eight weeks actually start. So as soon as you get off the bus, you're in P days. That week is P days. And then after that, then those eight weeks count. Then those eight weeks start to start to uh, come in. You feel me? So basically it's like nine weeks, but I've been in for 10 weeks. So basically it was kind of like, I don't know. I think it was like 11 weeks. I don't know. But P days, P days are the hardest. The first two days that you're in there, the first two days, the moment you get off that bus, all that, you ain't getting no sleep. There's no sleep. My nigga, like, it's the 48 hours, you ain't sleeping. They gonna have you doing a hell of shit. You gonna be sitting in classrooms, falling out, bro. When I tell you, we was in that bitch dying. <laughs> when I tell you, bro, it was like one of the hardest things I ever did. But it's really a, a mind game. It's a mind game to see who gonna last and shit like that. We all last, you know type shit you feel me um the food and boot camp is pretty all right it's good to survive with you eat three times a day you shouldn't really complain it's good food it's not even nasty so it's like you're gonna get by um the thing in the navy is we do this thing called it's which is uh intense training i was looking forward to the intense training 
because of the fact that like I was just looking forward to getting big and stuff in the boot in, during boot camp and in the military period I'm still going to the gym and shit like that so I tease bro we used to get our ass beat my division we used to get our ass beat we was more of a strong division than a smart division because we had a lot of hard-headed ass people in that bit bro like we used to get caught like sneaking shit from the galley, sneaking snacks and stuff from the galley. Who hasn't? I bet you so many other people in other divisions have too. But yeah, it was it was a good memory. Um, after P days, you move to the ship. Now there's a, it's across the street. It's like P days building. P days has its own little little side of the base. And then when you're done with P days, you transition across the street from the base. And this is where the actual ships is where there's Freedom Hall, the ceremonial building where you graduate, the next where you shop at, the uh, Naval Exchange, all that shit. We cross the street, we go to the ship, we get our actual shit. This is when we're able to get our end dubs and shit like that. We get our end dubs, bro. Like the racks and shit are okay. It's pretty dusty. Nigga, it don't make no sense how we gotta keep on like dusting off shit every fucking day, how dusty that shit is, bro. But I get it, they owe. Um, <clears throat> what's another thing? Freaking, the thing about it is, like, as far as, like, basic training, like I said, it's a mind game, bro. These people can't hit you, my nigga. They can't touch you at all. So, like, just let them yell in your face and get it over with. Like, they literally can't do anything, but, but what they can do is beat your ass. Meaning, give you intense training, IT. They can do that, and you can get in trouble for not doing it. I've seen some people do some hardcore ass ITs. It was this one dude. He went to the chapel, the church thing, right? And then he was like sliding notes to some girl. Never slide notes. Don't ever slide notes to anybody. He was sliding notes to some girl, like allegedly giving him, giving her his number and shit like that. The petty officers found out, bro, they, they tear his ass down, bro. When I tell you that shit was crazy, we was all hearing it in the compartment. He was in the hallway and we was outside. I mean, we was inside the compartment. He was outside the compartment in the hallway. He wasn't in our division. He was a senior div. Senior div is a senior division, a division that's been here before us. And baby div is a division that came before, uh, after us. So, bro, he was getting his ass beat. Like, that, and, and it's CO's top six. If you know CO's top six, You'll learn it. If you don't know it, you'll learn it. If you do know it, you know. But, um, yeah, bro, what's another thing? Um, We got Freedom Hall. Freedom Hall is like gym, gym time and shit like that. Oh, for the people that come in, man, like, if you know you like, look, don't come in thinking that you just, like, you're in the, you're in the military, bro. Like, if you're going to join, join and give it your all, bro, don't be one of those people that just going to reach for the bare minimum bro give it your all it's worth the experience my god it's worth the experience because you only gonna have this experience one time bro so and i ain't trying to talk, like people i've had some people who like be like oh i'm not doing pt i don't want to do pt man get your lazy ass why are you here why are you here why are you here like if you was the marines they would beat the dog shit out of you you're in the navy so it's not even that hard you feel me um what's another thing freaking drilling if you not a drill like if you haven't did rotc and shit like that and you don't and you don't know how to drill learn that shit bro because you gonna have to do it in graduation <laughs> you gonna have to do it in graduation so at some point you're gonna need to know how to drill my nigga so drilling you're gonna get a lot of times you can get enough enough training to learn how to drill by the time of graduation there should be no excuse for you to be still just walking like homer simpsons especially not for graduation man like like I said, my division 219. 219. They it was kind of like the bare minimum in that bitch, I'm not gonna lie. But um, it is what it is, bro. I I I got my shit. You feel me? I got my E3s. Um, yeah, that's another thing. Make sure you try your best to rank up in boot camp. Uh you start off as E1 and you'll be able to rank up to E2 or E3. See, I already did ROTC when I was in high school, so that automatically made me an E3. I can't go no higher than that. So I'm entitled to not give a fuck about what's going on in boot camp. They can't derank me, my nigga. <laughs> they can't derank me. So, but you know, I had my experience. I enjoyed that shit, bro. Like overall, bro, make sure you just like, it's cool to hang around people during boot camp, but 
make sure you remember your main goal of why you joined that shit. And like, make sure you know, like it's only temporary. It's only for two months. Make sure you do your shit and get out. You should want to get out of boot camp, not stay in because they'll threaten you and scare you about getting ass mode and shit like that. But bro, when I tell you, it's hard to get ass mode. You got to be a, 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 a shitty ass person to want to get to even get ass mode, bro. It's, it's not even that easy. They just do it to scare y'all ass, especially during P days, because a lot of people come from P days and be like, oh, oh, uh, do I get, am I going to get ass mode for this? Or is it? Man, it's not even like that. Like, it's, it's like, no, like, it's hard to get ass mode, bro. So, yeah, man, like, like I said, bro, like, people be like, oh, military is not for me. Is it, it's for everybody. It's really for everybody. You just don't see yourself in it, which is fine. You just don't see yourself in that type of, uh, that type of group and that type of space. So, you know, but for me, honestly, like so far, because I actually got to catch a flight in like an hour or two to uh, go to Virginia. Cause that's when I'm going to go to my first command. I just came from a school and shit like that. And I'm going to do another video for a school y'all. I'm going to do another video of my a school experience and shit like that, man. When I tell y'all, bro, this shit is really like, it's really hitting me. Like I'm still in the military. Like I'm, I'm like really like still like hitting it that I'm in the Navy, my nigga. Like I actually did that shit. It's an accomplishment. You feel me? But yeah, y'all, man. Uh, what's some more stuff if I have to end this video, man? Um, the females. Let me tell y'all something about the females and stuff like that, bro. Do not get distracted by these females in boot camp. I had an integrated division. <laughs> I had an integrated division, and. It's cool to like just talk to the females and chit chat, but don't be on no oh, trying to slot to the laundry room, to, like all that shit. Like, bro, when I tell you, you'll get caught, you'll get caught. It's not even like you're not gonna be able to play the RDCs because they've been doing this many times. They've seen it many times, bro. They they see it before y'all even like when y'all at a talking stage. They gonna see where it ends at. Like, come on now, like. But yeah, but don't even risk it. Get in boot camp. Get the fuck out. That's really the easiest thing. Get that shit. Make it official. Get the fuck out. Um, and then the Big Bang Battle Stations. Now, I really don't want to get into Battle Stations because I may, I already signed the contract that I'm not supposed to be talking about this. I don't think I want to be talking about uh, Battle Stations. But what I will say is, yo, that shit's an experience. Once those doors open, their jaw going to drop. Like, Battle Stations is the hype. It's it's the hype. When I tell you it is the hype that people be saying, even if you be asking people, bro, like, it's worth not getting spoiled. I promise you, it's not worth getting spoiled and stuff like that. That's why you need to learn, learn the things that they teach you so you will be prepared for Battle Stations because you will be prepared for Battle Stations. Every assessment, even the, the fire fire assessment, the um, shooting assessment, I think. Some of the things, well, you know what? I ain't gonna get too hard on battle stations, but yeah. <laughs> that is it for this video, everybody, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. I am back. I will be making new uh, videos for y'all. I'll be talking about A School and all the other fun shit. I'm gonna be making like little vlogs and shit like that. I'm actually trying to make a little vlog today of me on my way to Virginia, Norfolk and shit like that. So y'all make sure y'all stay tuned, man. I love y'all, man. Peace.